let us discuss this example in this example we have to find a volume okay and we know the formula volume is equal to triple integration over s dv there is no any function and dv means dx dy dz the important thing is that region s so let us discuss what is the region s here let me mention here s is bounded by s is bounded by see what have they mentioned it is bounded by z is equal to x square plus y square power of z is 1 power of x and y is 2 so that that's why we can say this is paraboloid let me mention here this is a paraboloid okay so we have a paraboloid power of z is 1 so it is around z axis z has plus sign that's why this paraboloid will be in upward direction it will be like this okay so what will i do i will put z is equal to 0 what I am doing, I am putting z is equal to 0. Then what will happen? 0 is equal to x square plus y square. That's why x and y will be 0. So that means this paraboloid passes through the origin 0, 0, 0. So let me draw the paraboloid there, which is around z axis, will be in upward direction and passes through the origin. Okay. So let me draw it here. So actually, I am drawing a rough sketch. Okay. So we will have a paraboloid like this. I am drawing a rough sketch here. It will be like this okay let us go further after that what we have uh, we have z is equal to 0 so you are familiar with that this is equation of what x y plane right so z is equal to 0 equation of x y plane let us go further we have x square plus y square is equal to 2y so they have clearly mentioned it's a cylinder but it is not in its standard form i will try to express it in a standard form okay and then we can easily draw it there so let us shift 2y on this side. So x square plus y square minus 2y is equal to 0. We will try to adjust a bracket square. See in previous videos, I have already tell you, told you the technique. The technique is whatever the multiple of y, take its half, take its square. What did I say? Whatever the multiple of y, take its half and take its square. Multiple of y is 2. Its half is 1. Take its square 1. So I'm going to add 1 in both sides. So x square plus y square minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 1. I have added 1 in both sides. So let us see what will happen. So x square plus, okay. So y square minus 2y plus 1, this is a bracket square. y minus 1 bracket square. So square is equal to 1. So we can mention this is a cylinder. So we have a cylinder. So we have a cylinder. Uh, with radius 1 cylinder, its radius is 1, getting since on that side. In the right hand side, we have 1 and 1 is the square of 1. So see, uh, what will I do? I will draw the diagram in xy plane so we can easily understand. Okay. So in xy plane, I am drawing xy. Okay. 1, 2, 1, 2. I am drawing a rough sketch here. See, in xy plane, this is the equation of circle, right? with center 0 comma 1 x minus nothing is there 0 and y minus 1 so that means center of this circle is 0 comma 1 and what is radius 1 so center 0 comma 1 radius 1 so we will have a circle like this so in xy plane we are getting a circle and in r3 it will be a cylinder okay so i am trying to draw the cylinder there so see its center is on y axis okay so we will have a circle here I'm drawing here we have a circle here and if you consider that means in r3 it will be a cylinder it will be like this okay so it will be a cylinder like this i'm drawing a rough sketch okay so we have a cylinder so what we have the region is bounded by xy plane region is enclosed by cylinder okay the region should be inside a cylinder it should be inside a cylinder it is bounded by xy plane and it is bounded by this paraboloid also so you can easily see there is some region below this paraboloid above the xy plane and bounded by cylinder so that so that is a region of integration okay we have to find its volume so what will i do we will convert a problem in cylindrical coordinate system by putting x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and z is equal to z okay so there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so if we uh, use this substitution our value of dx dy dz will be r dz dr d theta r is the value of jacobian okay so after that what we do we will convert the equations all the equations which we have into cylindrical coordinate system okay so we will start with that so now 
what is the equation we have z is equal to x square plus y square right so you know that z will be as it is at a place of x we have to put r cos theta y will be r sin theta so here we will have r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta if you take r square common cos square plus sin square one so that's why simply i can replace it by r square so this is equation of that paraboloid let me write here so this is uh, yes paraboloid whose equation is z is equal to r square after that what we have we have this equation of cylinder so now let me write here now x square plus y square is equal to what we have to y x square plus y square is equal to r square okay and y is equal to r sin theta 2 r sin theta definitely we can cancel r from both sides so r is equal to 2 sin theta okay let me write here r is equal to 2 sin theta this is equation of cylinder here also i can write okay r is equal to 2 sin theta so equation of cylinder r is equal to 2 sin theta so uh, now what will we do we will find limits okay now then first we write limits of z then r and at the end theta so when we find limits of z we consider a strip parallel to z axis that means we will have strip like this which is parallel to z axis so strip is bounded below by xy plane getting so whose equation is z is equal to 0 and strip is bounded above by paraboloid right whose equation is z is equal to r square so limits of z will be 0 to r square so when we find limits of r and theta we take the projection of region in xy plane so when you take its projection we will have a circle like this and in xy plane what we do we draw strip like this okay in xy plane we draw strip like this so strip is bounded below by origin okay so where the value of r is 0 and strip is bounded above by a circle whose equation is r is equal to 2 sin theta so therefore these are limits of r so now we have to cover the entire region of integration okay so our strip will start here and uh, it will rotate like this and when it reaches to 180 degree it will cover the complete circle so the value of limits of theta will be 0 to pi 180 degree so in this way we got limits of z r and theta therefore volume will be outer integration with respect to theta middle one with respect to r okay and inner integration with respect to z here we write dv means dx dy dz but now its value is r dz dr d theta so let me write here r dz dr d theta okay See, make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So, first we integrate with respect to z, right? So, we can take r, uh, r will be constant for inner integration. We can take it outside. Let me do that, okay? 2 sin theta, r will come outside. Integration of z is, uh, dz is z only, 0 to r square dr d theta. After that, we put upper limit, lower limit, lower limit is 0, no need to worry. So, if I put r square, r square into r, r cube. So, integration 0 to 2 pi. See, we will have r cube and its integration will be r raised to 4 by 4. Okay, I am doing it uh, directly. Since if you put z is equal to r square, r square into r, r cube, its integration will be r raised to 4 by 4 with limit 0 to 2 sin theta d theta. So, if I put upper limit here, 2 raised to 4 that means 16 divided by 4 that means 4 so that will be constant we can take it outside integration 0 to 2 pi and here sin raised to 4 theta no need to worry about lower limit since if you put 0 we will have 0 we cannot find integration directly okay so the limits is 0 to pi sorry i should write limits 0 to pi we had got so i should write 0 to pi yes so we cannot solve it directly getting so when we have limit 0 to pi by 2 then we can easily convert it into beta gamma function but we have limit 0 to pi so yes we have to use some formulas of trigonometry so we know that for this formula sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 and there is one more cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 see this formula we can use here so out of this two first formula is applicable here but i should adjust it in a proper way 0 to pi sin square square 
that means sin raised to 4 theta. So for this sin square theta, I can apply that formula. So 4 integration 0 to pi, let me write here, 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 square d theta. So when we take square of any fractional p upon q form, then we have to take square of numerator as well as square of denominator. Square of denominator will be 4. That 4 will get cancelled with this 4. So this is equal to integration 0 to pi. So we have to take square of numerator. So a minus b bracket square formula, you know, a square minus 2ab plus b square. So let us apply the formula. 1 minus 2 cos 2 theta plus cos square 2 theta d theta, right? So now we have to integrate. Integration of 1 is theta. Integration of cos is sine. Integration of cos square is there. That means we cannot use the formula directly. So cos square is that there. That means again we have to use this formula. Okay. So this is equal to let me write integration 0 to pi 1 minus 2 cos 2 theta plus I am using this formula 1 plus cos 4 theta divided by 2 d theta. See, 4 theta I have written since we have to take twice angle. Already we have 2 theta, so it's twice will be 4 theta. So now we can integrate. Integration of 1 is theta minus 2. Integration of cos is sine 2 theta divided by 2 I should write. Whatever the multiple of theta, we should write in denominator. Plus 1 by 2 outside. Integration of 1 is theta. Integration of cos is sine 4 theta divided by 4 we should write multiple of theta should be in denominator right so with limits 0 to pi let us put upper limit first pi sine 2 pi you know 0 right minus 0 plus 1 by 2 pi sine 4 pi is 0 so when you put 0 0 sine 0 0 0 sine 0 0 so that means when you put upper lower limit we will have all terms 0 so I'm not, uh, I will simply mention, mention here minus 0. So pi plus pi by 2. So pi plus pi by 2, you know, this is 3 pi by 2, right? So this is a volume. So I should mention cubic units. So this is a required answer, okay? So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.